Welcome to today's video and today I will be talking about how to do the back extensions on the Roman chair. So in this video I will share my technique considerations when it comes down to the movement and then at the end of the video I will show you one work set how to implement everything in practice. So this is the Roman chair and in my opinion if you don't understand how to do this exercise correctly then you have no business at all doing any deadlifts or deadlift variations so let me show you the roman chair how it looks like so this is it in the past i used to do here back extensions on the roman chair in the commercial gym and i have snapped up my lower back several times here so i have completely written off this exercise and actually I did film a video many years ago on this channel where I made a list of top movements that can snap up your lower back and the 45 degree Roman chair was included in this list and also I did include squats in this list but it's quite ironically many years did pass by and now I'm doing front squats and I'm doing here the back extensions on the Roman chair once again so it's very crucial to understand the main mistakes that you can make on this movement so don't have to learn it the hard way like I did and I did snap up my lower back numerous times so if you are not comfortable doing for example Romanian deadlifts and you are a beginner or the movement doesn't feel right for you then this is here the solution that will solve all your problems so in my opinion a beginner first should start with back extensions and only then if he wants he should transition to Romanian deadlifts or if you did try to perform the Romanian deadlifts and for some reason you don't really connect with exercise like I did then this is also the solution now on the Roman chair in my opinion you can do three types of exercises so first of all you can do side bends so you can work actually your obliques on the roman chair but this is a whole nother topic for another video then you can do spine flexion and extension and in my opinion this doesn't make a lot of sense to do this movement of course your spine can do this so for example you are rounding yourself at the spine and then you are extending so all the movement is at spine you can do this movement the spine has the ability to perform this but all the time when i used to do this movement on the roman chair i used to get a lot of pain in the lower back area so i don't recommend to do this movement here actually what we want to do on the roman chair is a hip hinge so it's the same movement pattern like in a romanian deadlift but here on the roman chair it will be much more easier to connect with the movement so by doing a hip hinge we are targeting here the posterior chain that means the hamstrings the glutes the lower back and the spinal erectors so that's the posterior chain we are doing a hip hinge here not a back extension and not a back hyper extension so there is a lot of misused terminology on the roman chair so we are not hyper extending the lower back in any case at all and actually we are not even doing here a back extension we are doing here a hip hinge so you see how this can lead to a lot of confusions using this terminology so primarily my goal is to do here a hip hinge and i want to work the muscles of the hamstrings and the glutes and the lower back the spinal erectors will be working isometrically so they will play only a stabilizing role so if you want to have full development in your hamstrings you must work them at the knee joint but then also at the hip joint so the hamstrings cross both these joints so if you are doing a lying leg curl then you are covered at the knee joint but then you must do an exercise at the hip joint so that would be either your romanian deadlift or for example here your back extension on the roman chair 
So that covers also the aspect of hitting your hamstrings at the hip joint. And now I will talk about the main considerations of the technique when you will be performing the movement. So you will place yourself in the Roman chair with straight legs. So you don't want to have any bend at the knee. All the movement will be performed here at the hips. So that's why it's very important to set the correct height here of the pad. So you don't want to set it too high so that it will block your hips, but you don't want to set it also too low. So the perfect position is somewhere around here, the upper thigh area, and that should allow your hips to be free. So here I did set myself in the position and as you can see, here are my hips and this is my upper thigh area and the hips can now move freely. The legs are straight and I'm not initiating the movement by rounding my back. So this is not how to do the movement. So here, if you are rounding your back and extending, you are not doing here a hip hinge. You are working only your spine here. So there's no movement at the hips. And this is not how we should do the movement. We want to feel here a deep stretch in the hamstrings and also in the glutes. So we don't hyperextend our spine, but also we don't round excessively. We keep our ribs tucked and keep a neutral spine. And then we are moving here at the hips, pushing them back and feeling here a deep stretch in the hamstrings. So we lower ourselves, keep the spine neutral and feel a deep stretch in the hamstrings and then we extend back up. And that's how the movement looks like. So we do feel a deep stretch in the hamstrings, go as slow as comfortable and that's how the movement should look like. So the limiting factor will be here your hamstrings and the glutes when you are feeling a very deep stretch. My preferred rep range is here 10 to 15 and I push it close to failure but always keep control throughout the movement so that the load doesn't shift here on our spine. So don't go too deep where all the pressure will be on our spine. Maintain the tension in the hamstrings and the glutes. So enough of the talking. Here I will show you one working set, how to do everything in practice. And here I will link a playlist if you are interested in more hypertrophy training videos from me. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon next time. Bye.